right, let's head over to weather with News 4 Tucson's Daniel McFarland. It is a gorgeous day today, Daniel. Yeah, getting colder too. I know you're a big fan of that, aren't you? Two thumbs up. Yeah, tomorrow morning, very chilly, so upper 30s again. So I know the past few mornings we've kind of been stuck in the 50s. So you're waking up, it's not really feeling too much like winter, is it? No, not quite, but it is a nice weekend for everyone to enjoy, that's for sure. Oh yeah, a little something for everyone. And the way things stand right now, things are really drying up right now as this front's passing us by, the winds are calming down, and that dry air and that wind shift that we're seeing are both going to really lead to these cooler temperatures over the next couple days. So as you can see outside right now, not a cloud in the sky, and that temperature sitting at 70 degrees. But of course, if you look over at that dew point and humidity, a little little bit higher than what you would expect. Obviously, typically what we look at here whenever we have a front pass us by those numbers being in single digits. So that front hasn't passed us just yet. And another way you can tell that is by looking at that wind direction. Since we're still seeing a southwest wind right now and it's still pretty strong, that front hasn't passed us just yet, but it's getting closer. After it does, you are going to have more of a north northeast wind as we get into that time. And I'll talk more about that in a second. But let's talk about these temperatures for overnight after it passes us by and even that cloud cover out there. So not really too much cloud cover to talk about during the evening tonight, but if you're out around midnight tonight, lower 50s during that time, some clouds moving over places like Catalina, the mountains right there, also near spots like Oro Valley and Midtown. Those should be moving further down towards the south by early tomorrow morning. But look at those temperatures out there into the upper 30s for a lot of spots. So the areas I think they're most at risk for getting into the 30s, spots like Midtown, the airport, Rita Ranch, Vail. I actually think if you're closer towards the mountains, your temperatures are going to be a little bit more comfortable for the morning tomorrow. And of course, Mount Lemons temperature is going to be nice and cold for anyone waking up early to head over towards there. Now, these winds have been something we've been tracking for the past few days for you. And as you can see overnight, these numbers are getting lower or lower for just about everyone. And if you're in Tucson by tomorrow morning, it's not going to be an issue at all. But if you're in Wilcox, Douglas, Bisbee, that front might still just be close enough to you where you could be having a little bit of stronger winds. But at the moment, that low pressure center is still north of Vegas right there. And that front is right about here. So as you can see, it hasn't passed us just yet, but it is starting to pick up a bit of speed. And once it does, you can expect those temperatures to drop as I was talking about before. Then there's going to be this other system that's still developing closer towards Anchorage right around here is going to be that next low pressure center. We're Tracking. On Friday is going to be the day we're looking at where we could potentially have some more clouds passing us by and maybe even the smallest rain chance. Now, there's only a couple models out there that are showing any kind of rain at all for us on Friday, but it's the only hope we have for the next couple weeks. So it's something we're going to watch over the next couple days. Confidence is very low on it, and even if we do see a little bit of rain with it, it's not going to be much, and I'll talk more about that in a second. But also keep in mind, you are going to have those below average temperatures starting off late tonight, lasting for the next couple days, and the winds will be calming by the morning. But as you can see right here, 30s for the next few mornings out there, basically all the way through early Wednesday. And then Friday is going to be when that front passes us by. So if we have any rain at all, it'll be during Friday morning. It'll be light rain, and it's not going to be changing up our temperatures too much after that time. So go ahead and get out there. Enjoy the 60s for the next few days because it looks like we're we're going to be back to the 70s, Angelique, probably by Wednesday or Thursday. So I know people that enjoy winter definitely going to want to be out for the next few days. Sounds good. It looks like you might still need the heater 